When we encounter a tooth that is super erupted, we need to determine the best way to correct its vertical relationship with the remaining teeth in the arch. Ideally, we would like to intrude the tooth. The same goes for a tooth that has never fully erupted into the arch. When it is a single tooth, we can typically expect it to be mostly true intrusion, where just that tooth moves into alignment. But when there are many teeth, we need to anticipate that while those teeth are moving apically, the other teeth may be moving coronally. This is a combination of direct intrusion and compensatory extrusion, which is often seen during bite leveling. It all comes down to surface area. Larger teeth and longer roots are harder to move. They can function as anchors to resist direct movements. But when they are the malpositioned teeth in question, we must anticipate that the smaller, adjacent teeth will move to compensate.